gotcha. Uh, guess what it is? It's my birthday. It is. It is. <laughs> yep, the 13th. It's my birthday of February. And it's also what, Christian? It's our one year anniversary. One year anniversary. Which also means it's the big contest day. It is. So if you watch this video and you're a subscriber, put a comment down and you're in the contest. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. It's that simple. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a $40 gift certificate, maybe some other things. And that can be to your favorite homebrew store, as long as they sell gift certificates we can purchase for you. And if you're a beer reviewer watching this, find a beer shop, you know, your favorite oh, bottle wow. shop that, uh, that we could get a gift certificate at for you. So anyway, uh, we're here making a brew. This is what uh, Christian really wanted. Yeah, it's a uh, rogue. It's an imitation of Rogue's hazelnut brown. I mean, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We're doing a partial mash right now. We got uh, our good old uh, partial mash going right now. It's going to be in there for 30 minutes, sitting at 154 degrees. It went a little bit over, but you know, user error. It's that yeah, it's that whole stove thing. And yeah. then, um, but. Uh, uh, we also got some other fun things we're going to do here. What we're going to do real quick, we'll come back with it all poured, but we've got a brew here today from Man Bear Pig. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And, um, and this is going to be his, uh, it's like a, a belt. He calls it the kitchen sink IPA slash DIPA, but it's a, it's a Belgian IPA that he made with Abby Ale Yeast. And he's got uh, four ounces of CTZ in there. So probably like Columbia. And then uh, at, for bittering, 60 minutes. And then at 30 and at 15, at each of those points, he adds two ounces of Centennial. So right. we're going to get that poured up. and Well, well, Dad's serving that up. Uh, I'd like to share with everyone. Uh, lately, I just started reading For the Love of Hops, which is by Ken Grossman, who is the founder of Sierra Nevada Brewing. So, pretty awesome. Uh, I just started reading the pre-notes and everything, but this is going to teach us a lot about aroma of hops, the alpha acids, and all that jazz. Uh, right now, I'm pretty stoked about it. I think it's a, a good book, and uh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, I've, I've been wanting to get into just the flavors of hops and really doing a lot more brewing lately. So that'll be fun for us. And that's going to go hand in hand here in the near future. I want to be doing an experiment where we do like maybe a five gallon batch, but it goes across five different uh, uh, containers to age. And then we'll have them each done in a different hop. So the same base malt, the same yeast, but all, all of them boiled with different hops. I also picked up a book. This is Brewing Classic Styles from Jamil. I can never say Jamil's last name, and John Palmer. And this was one that Puka NC has been uh, promoting for some time. So I know that he picked up some of his classic like Russian uh, Imperial Stouts or Russian, uh, yeah, Russian Imperial Stouts and things out of that. So that's another fun one we're going to be doing. So meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. We've got uh, the uh, brew from uh, Man Bear Pig here. Oh, it smells pretty good. Yeah, it has a nice smell. Now he does also have some, uh, a little bit of, he has some Belgian uh, clear candy sugar as well as uh, he's got some caramel 10L in there so along with his caramel. this is a kitchen sink deepa. That's kind of cool. Kitchen well, sink you can deepa. really, you really pick up on the hops on yeah, that though. You, you really get that hop aroma. You get a little bit of the sweet scent off that probably coming from the, particularly the, the candy sugars. Yeah. Um, that are in that. You yeah. get some of the, a little bit of the Abbey Ale yeast style in there too. You can tell from the esters coming off that. The only thing I'm worried about, and I say it right now, smell, sniffing this, is when you have too much candied sugar, and I learned this in my cream ale, <laughs> you get hints of apple cider. So, I, I'm, get, I'm getting whiffs of it, so I'm hoping that it's not in the brew which dad is texting josh right now that we are trashing him <laughs> it's excellent 
uh, he, he's drinking, he wants you to know that he's drinking one of these alongside us at his home in Southern Cal, so. All right, so, All right. you ready for a taste? I am. Cheers. There is some freaking hops There's in there. There's some serious hops. There's some serious hops in that, baby. Oh, my. Yeah, and the, on the CTZ, there were leaf hops. So I'm going to assume, I'm assuming the Centennials are um, going to be uh, pellet hops. That is a lot of malt. Uh, uh, I'm actually impressed. I'm not getting yeah. any of the scent of the apple cider uh, from know. it. Um, maybe because it was Belgian clear candy sugar? I don't know. I get, I get quite a bit of bitterness on the back end. Mm -hmm. I will say that, but it's somewhat balanced out with the, the Belgian candy sugars in it to kind of balance the whole thing out a bit, which is nice. It's pretty nice. I, I prefer less of the, a little less on the bitter back end for me. It's, it's a, a little strong bitter back end. The, the front end taste as it comes on, the front end, he, he tells us to be critical, folks, so it's my nephew. Yeah. <laughs> the front end comes on really nice, actually, really good palate on the front and in the middle. Now, my only concern is I'm not tasting the kitchen sink. I'm more tasting bathtub and uh, man bear pig toe. Well, I was thinking it tastes more like the ring, the ring from the bathtub. Oh, maybe. No. Yeah, that could Definitely be Definitely that. So, I mean, he definitely adds a good taste to it. Like, he's just adding depth in there. I mean, oh, man. Definitely. Oh, there's some there's some man hair in there. Okay, oh, I was yeah. just checking. It's not a man. Right. I'm good. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, otherwise, this is a, you know, other than that bitter just being a little bit much for me, I'm really liking it. And I'm imagining that, too, of course, knowing, knowing you, Josh, this is going to be all freaking gone. It's just going to be gone before it has a chance to even tone down at all, isn't it? Yeah, um, the, only, the only thing I can get into is, uh, now that I'm starting to read that book a little bit, maybe the hops that you used, the CTZs, this might have too high of an alpha level for a 60-minute boil, and maybe it's making it a little too bitter. We gotta keep track of the brew the whole time we're doing this. All right, well, you know, we're gonna be sipping on this, we're gonna be working on that, so we need to give you some entertainment. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we're having some beer candy, and I think that means it's time for a little shout out in regards to eye handy. No, I didn't say eye candy, I said eye handy. Folks, you know, what are these shows about? They're either for about entertainment, keeping up with friends, or learning new things. I Handy is all about learning new things and in a very entertaining way. Yeah. Whether we're talking about, you know, how to uh, solder the uh, copper piping together for your mash tun, or whether we're talking about how to tap a keg or repair the wall after a big party. I just taught my buddy how to wax his own snowboard. Just check this out. Welcome to iHandy.com. Got trouble in the plumbing department? Tara is here to help out by showing the proper way of soldering copper pipe. Begin by sanding the outside end of the pipe you will be joining. You can use sandpaper, or for an easier sanding process, you can pick up some handy tools for a few bucks at the hardware store. Sand until the copper becomes as shiny as a new penny. Bringing a keg to the party is only half the battle. Devin is here to show you how to tap it. Do you have a damaged wall that needs a little repair? Savannah is here to help. Draw a square around your hole, reaching from stud to stud. Using a drywall saw, 
cut through your marks and remove this piece of drywall. A utility knife can help cut through tricky areas. If your wall is textured, sand down the outer ridge of the hole. Once you are satisfied with your handiwork, begin planning your next wild party. Enjoy! Now we got three minutes left, but as we mentioned... For the next step. Till the next Great. step. But as we mentioned, it's a very special day. Other than the one year anniversary, it's the old man's birthday. Now, I like to give him gifts. And I've snuck something down here uh -oh. without him knowing. Uh-oh. Now, he might think he wrecked it, but no, no, no. This is a good thing. Let's see what he has. Let's find out. This is freaking me out a little bit, because first of all, right here, do you see this? This says Goose Island on it. So I'm already excited just to get a shirt. You would buy one too? <laughs> I had just picked one of these up and he got me one too, didn't tell me. That's awesome though. That's so perfect because we were, we were just talking about Jameson did a review and said you need to age this two years. And uh, so now we're going to get to drink one soon wow. and age one for two years. I thought it was funny because he told me, don't pick that up at the store. It's too expensive. And then he goes to the store and what does he do? He picks it up. I got it for his birthday. <laughs> he just got it for yeah. drinking. <laughs> right on, right on. Ah. Thank you, man. Awesome. Well, there we go. Awesome. So, all right, here we are. Uh, at this point, we boil, we've uh, we've let the grain sit for 30 minutes at 154 degrees, uh, give or take, obviously. And then uh, we've warmed up this water uh, another three quarts up to uh, 170 degrees. So while he's rinsing the grains, I just want to say, hey, Josh, uh, thank you for this beer. I really like it. My, my personal opinion is the CTZ, there was too much of that in the boil. And um, if you do, to, to refine this one further, I would go one of two directions. I would probably back down on that and or increase the malts on that. So nicely done. Give that to me. So my theory in this is I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna fill the bags up with water, let it drain again, and then I'm gonna fill the bags up with water and let it drain so that I get as much of the sugar extracts and the enzymes and the proteins that are necessary to make this into a fantastic beer because this is one I'm hoping to drink just as much as our Deepa. Which we're really loving the Deepa, and we were going to start the show with our Deepa, but we have so many home brews to drink. So we'll do that next week. Meanwhile, since I've now got the Goose Island shirt on, I thought it would be appropriate to get the Goose Island glasses out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a pour going on this while Christian's doing the draining, because the next home brew we're going to review here is going to be that of one from the infamous. Bearded Brewer. That smiling son I've been of growing a gun. my beard out just for him. A little, it's a little, a little more uh, full right now. Actually, I'm growing it out for my birthday, and we'll have some. Uh, ooh, that's very effervescent. Uh, we'll have some footage of the birthday. Uh, we're going out Sunday. It's going to be a '60s theme, so everyone has to dress in. 60s outfit, so we will get some photos, maybe some video of that because it should be epically funny. All right, so so here we go. We're gonna do uh, this is Bearded Brewers Pumpkin Ale. All right, and yeah, you, uh, you can definitely smell the pumpkin. I smell alcohol, I can smell there's brown sugar in it. Yeah, definitely, there's some brown sugar. And the spices, there's spice, okay. some kind of spice, I'm not sure exactly what. I'm kind of wondering did, if he used like a, like a spice canned pumpkin. The spices aren't real heavy. 
I don't know. I I swore a little bit to get more sniff, but, but someone's a little high. Yeah, or I filled the glass is kind of high, so anyway, I'm gonna get it on my nose. Yeah, okay. I smell it. I know it's imperial. Oh wow! Well, that's interesting. This has really good pumpkin flavor. It's interesting. It was so not what I was expecting, though. That that's always an interesting thing. Um, this is actually a nine point five eight percent ABV, but you would have no idea. Mm -hmm. you, you would have no clue. Um, it's very effervescent. There, there's a. It's very well carbonated. Um, now that might just be how he filled the bottles too, you know. But um, because they're, as I understand, he force carbonated all of his beers. Um, when it comes to taste, you don't feel a malt base as much, but you do taste a lot of pumpkin, and it's a nice sweet pumpkin pie taste almost. Yeah. Um, it's like the filling of a pumpkin pie, not yeah. no crust in there or anything like the other ones. Yeah, you get the spices on it. It's on the light end of a medium body, and with mm -hmm. it being so effervescent. I think that's what really threw me with this. Um, I'm not saying in taste, but in in uh, texture, if you will, in the in the mouth fill along with the carbonation, it, it almost makes me think of a saison. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. That's for sure. Um, this one has. I I I don't know what kind of yeast you use. Uh, American ale does not does not feel like American ale yeast. This definitely feels more like a Belgian style yeast. It, it's it's fun. And yeah. uh, gosh, this is fantastic. I mean, it's really tasty. It's got a lot of pumpkin flavor. It's got a few spices in there, but um, it it's got sweet esters in it, which I'm not. Which, yeah, which is what I would expect from a Belgian, not an American. You, you nailed that. I mean, I, I uh, the no. whole yeast aspect really is a surprise to me. It, it 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 makes me think more of like a, not quite, but almost like you had a mix between American yeast and a, like a, a a Belgian farmhouse type yeast. You yeah, know? something. Uh, um, which I'm is interesting. This, actually. It is fun. It's really refreshing. Uh, that's right. The body is really light. Yeah, there's a, there's a good amount of carbonation. If this is a nine point five eight, I'm gonna be in serious trouble because this is gonna go down so fast and easy. It has a mix of the pumpkin spices. I know I can get like a cinnamon, a hint of nutmeg in it. I think the one that I the thing I like about this one the most is the fact that it's not over spiced. A lot of the pumpkin ales that you get out there, they yeah. go for pumpkin with the spices and you yeah. actually use the pumpkin to flavor the pumpkin beer. And I like a really good mellow pumpkin pie with a few like key spice notes yeah. in there that really kind of accentuate the pumpkin instead of drown out the pumpkin. And I think you did a great job in this. I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah, the, the spices are really understated. They're in there, mm -hmm. you, and you know they're there. They're not jumping out. They're not dominating at all. Now, having said that, for me personally, I would love it if there was a little more pumpkin in it, actually. Just I know. A little more. It's, it's, it's actually a mild taste, but you get good pumpkin flavor. I really, this could be more pumpkin, almost. Right below, or PME, I really want to know, um, Bearded Brewer, because I... I I won't use your first name. I've still never heard you use it. So I really want to know if it tastes the same way because I, I assume that you've got it on tap, you know, that it's kegged. And and I want to know if it has kind of the effervescence too or if that's just the process of bottling it. I don't know what else to say. I'm just thoroughly enjoying this, the whole, the whole effervescence, the carbonation levels and, and how this thing drinks, it, it's, it's a really fun style. I like it. Uh, you did a great job on this the first time around. Uh, we're gonna have to get your recipe because I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I would want to kick a little more fruit in there. But other than that, yeah. well, I really like that one. 
That's that is really nice. So big thumbs yeah, up here. Thank you, Beer Brewer. On that one. We we gotta start washing the brew. <laughs> <laughs> so so as we're uh, getting this to the boil, I, I just gotta make a a big compliment to the Beer Brewer. My wife, who does not drink beer, just smelt your pumpkin ale. Yeah. Decided. She needed to take a sip of it. That's a good thing. And she's like, ooh, that's very good. That is the highest compliment in our household. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> that's a good compliment. <laughs> when Trust Mrs. Me. Clemens Homebrew says it's good, <laughs> damn. Yeah. We're adding in pearl hops now. I call and, them pearly uh, hops. It, it calls for 0.86. Yeah, point eight. But because this at at nine percent alpha, but this is a ten point six percent alpha, so we're putting in point seven five. Yep. So that we'll, get us pretty close. That'll get us close enough. You want to get your alphas right at least. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna start my sixty minute timer for one hour, and uh, we're just gonna let this baby go. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. This is Clement's Homebrew. It's our one year anniversary. It's probably going to go long, and we've been drinking. So, what are we going to do? More drinking, of course. <laughs> what else are we going to do? It's true, I'm still drinking. Oh, we've got a great beer. Let me get it, and we'll be right back. What are we doing now? Because we are now. Uh, Feeling the effects of the stupendous, effervescent pumpkin ale. We are. We are. We are moving on to the next brew. Yes, Bearded Brewer. We have another. We have the Christmas Stout. Mm, Christmas this is the stout. epic Clement's Homebrew video. It, you got to deal with us. We're so bad. So now, this is a very full glass. Very full glass. Be very full glass. Dad made sure we got the 100% yes, of this yes. glass. Yeah. And we really can't even hardly read this. So, the one thing I can get is that it's about 9% ABV, which is really great news because we just had a bear mat, a man bear pig brew, and then we had a 9.5 plus. Oh, well. Pumpkin stout. Now we're going for another 9%. Or so we're, uh, we're just This is the great. Old Rasputin Imperial Stout. It's a 5.25 gallon batch. And it's got. <laughs> it's faded. It's, it's, uh, we appreciate that, but it's hard uh -huh. to read. <laughs> we just got to get a nose on it because we don't want to sound like Charlie on. Brown's Christmas. This is yeah, just a no Christmas we don't. stout. No, we do not. My sniffer is snuffed. <laughs> Me too. I get uh, dark beer. <laughs> not it's not far enough in. I'm freaking dipping my nose. Yeah, in this. it's really hard. This is I pour I should have left he some in the bottle. He poured way too heavy. And I can't even get a whole effervescence out of it. Here. Mrs. Clement's homebrew on the side is gonna give her a snifter. Mm, dark. There you she go. Says, dark molasses. Mm, dark molasses. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. We We're love drinking. Her. We're drinking. Oh, I do get coffee. Coffee. Oh, that that's was like cheers from Mrs. Clement's <laughs> homebrew. She's got some coffee with Kahlua going. We like to party here. All right, I I'm gonna say the ever unpopular statement that I I'm have getting a that plastic espresso. Tub. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but beyond that, um, so it's a medium body and, um, I'm getting like, uh, mostly like roasted malts off of this. You get lots of roasted malts. Um, get a little bitterness at the end, almost a chocolate, like a dark yeah. chocolate flavor to it. Yeah, it goes from like that roasty aroma. Like that roasty flavors. <laughs> of course, I'm spilling. One, 
one freaking swoosh. You know, I thought I was the lightweight. But anyway. Son of a bitch, this is your pour. Anyway. <laughs> one year, and it's just going to be as funny as if it was the very first time we did it, which was ridiculous. All right. So here we are. This has got a nice roasty taste, but yeah, kind of at the end it pulls in with some chocolate it's notes. Oh my on goddamn it. sock! <laughs> Is this your hundredth uh, or one year drunken beer review? Yes. It's close to being our one year drunken beer review, but not quite. Because oh, when we're done Lord. with this beer, it would be a drunken, and then and then we got to still try to finish off our whole beer, which is going to be really. The one we're brewing. And that's going to be a challenge. Folks, you need to write down below, put a comment, because that puts you into the drawing to be the winner of the one-year anniversary prize. So, Yeah, you have to deal with this for however long it is. That's, that's right. So that you can you need to get watch. a prize. We got little timers for <clears throat> how long you watch. So anyway. All right, and if go. you belch along with us, Put comments at how loud you bails the number of decibels, and you get more points. Yes. Yeah, your, your name gets thrown in again. Extra points for louder decimals, I'm telling you. Actually, what we want to hear is if you put in your comments that you are drinking a home brew while watching this video, we're going to throw your name in the hat twice. Now, by the way, I'm really good at reading and grammar and trust me I will know if you're lying when you're typing in that you're drinking homebrew when you're not because my assumption is if your grammar is really good then you weren't drinking <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true because right? you got that baby uh, face you use baby bottles that baby face you know under that beard's this just cute baby face with a big yeah. grip Actually, what I want to do is say, you know what? I want to see a video from you. Your shit ass grin. Nah, I can't go there. I was going to say, you know, with your head in like some little thing in a. <laughs> like, a like a baby carriage. Smoking a cigar and drinking beer. But anyway, whatever, you know. We have fun. <laughs> I'm fun. hungry, mommy. <laughs> nah. But seriously, uh. That, that's all I had to say is it like, just, uh, is that what, you know where I got, I hope you know where I'm getting this from. I'm not some like real sicko. It's from the uh, movie, um, Roger Rabbit. Please, this is Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that's where we got that whole baby oh. in the care thing. Please, this is Roger Rabbit. Anyway, uh, um, BB, just so you know. Good beer. Excellent beer, actually. I'm feeling it. Happy anniversary. Clement's homebrew. We love drinking homebrews. You know what? Snapper. The little whippersnapper that talks about pissing while, while getting uh, um, buggered. Yeah, I'm yeah. buggering dad right now. Yeah, Bugger nice. this bitch. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> all I gotta say is. Mrs. Clement's homebrew got this for me, um, and now she really loves it, which is the really no, the worst no, part of it. <laughs> Come on. That's right, he deserved that. So anyway, this I've been nibbling on since the other night. Nibbling's not. Uh, we've been going at it. Both Miss Clement's homebrew and me have been going at this, and this is a a beer cheese from. Il Chester, I L C H E S T E R. Can you keep that around to hit me with? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is some no, crazy, yeah. crazy good beer cheese that we got from Whole Foods. Just a quick blip. If you can find this, this cheese from our is wonderful. It's good stuff. I'm going to have some more right now. Now, what am I working on? Hair of the dog, baby. Without me? Hair oh, yeah, screw you, Christian. Hair of the dog, baby. Yeah. This is their American Pale Ale. I've never, ever, ever had it. Because when I go to the brewery, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting, like, the good stuff, which is mostly Fred. I really love Fred. 
So, I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh, yeah? How do you feel about that? Oh, well, hold on. Ooh. Light, refreshing pale ale with organic pilster malt mm. and whole Northwest flower hops. She, <laughs> Ruth, was inspired by my mother's mother, Granny Ruth, because of her love and support. Don't be ruthless. Have one for Granny, Alan Asprins, brewmaster. Alan, my God. This is just one more testament to the fact that I love, love Hair of the Dog, and I'll keep going there for food and ale. Cheers. This beer has so much like uh, floral hops. There's no ro rose flavor per se, but you know, the effervescence and then this floral hop that just just bites you in the ass. I mean, my God, there's like this sweet floral petals, like flower petals in there. But it's it's the hops. It's like a wonderful, wonderful beer. Wow, it it's it's unique unto itself, Ruth is really something else. We gotta get it back to brewing because I'm gonna get emotional. It's such a good beer. Greg and Irish. Oh, never mind. I didn't need this. This bastard. He he made me package the sauce back up, and and then he says, "Oh, bring it back," because there's another edition of sauce. And then he goes. Oh no, oh. we're done. Oh yeah, we're done. Because I love him. <laughs> and and thank you, Man Bear Pig. You got your moss flower. <laughs> thank thank you, Bitter Brewer. I've had my coat of beer. We need some more flock for this bitch. Thank you, Hair of the Dog. I'm feeling happy. But thank you, World Peace on the Lakers, you. for for the memories. Yes, for the memories. So, and did we ever mention to you tonight that it's our contest is going on? <laughs> <laughs> is is that right? Is our contest going on tonight? If you're drinking a homebrew, you say I'm. You got you. Damn it! Be honest. Say I'm drinking a homebrew. You get entered twice into the contest. Oh yeah, and if I think you're really being honest and you've drank two homebrews, maybe I'll enter you three times. He never it's reads up anything. To me. Now it is. <laughs> so he just added some aroma. So with that, we'll say peace. <laughs> yeah, cut that out. Christian's cleaning out the last of the yummy nutrients of the liquid malt extract. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying cheers to Man Bear Pig 1122334455 because I got a little bit of his brew cheered, uh, chilled. Oh yeah. Cheers with the pumpkin ale which is gone. We obliterated that. We did. Yes, that we was freaking good. Cheers, Berry Brewer, with your stout. Ooh, nice shift. Cheers, Hair of the Dog. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers to Hair of the Dog. Folks, what up? What a wonderful night. We're working on wrapping up this brew. I just want to emphasize one more time. This is Clement's Homebrew. Yeah, we're a bunch of dorks, but whatever, you're watching this, and that's awesome. And we're drinking. And we're drinking. We're drinking a lot of beer. And we're just saying, 
This is our one year anniversary. It's also my birthday. Write a comment, comment, and you could be a big winner tonight. Big winner tonight. If you say that, hey, I'm drinking a homebrew, damn it, you better be drinking a homebrew. Crack one, pop it, drink it. If you're not, say, why aren't you brewing? Yeah, why? Why? Say I'm drinking a homebrew. Write us a comment, why or I'm drinking brewing. someone else's homebrew. All good. Well, that's good too. And and then you get your name thrown in the hat twice to win. I think that's a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea. But you know, I'm Kevin Clements. He's he's drinking. I'm Junior. He's Junior. <clears throat> and we make up Clements Homebrew. We're having fun. And we'll see you on the next beer review. Or actually on the next homebrew, because it's a homebrew Wednesday. Homebrew. It's a homebrew Wednesday. It's all the same. Ah, oh, shiz, niz, 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 old pizzle. We're going to finish this one up. You've seen it all before. Cheers. We did it.